Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 06 August, Bank of England today. Not expecting too much from those clowns. Um, but we'll have to be on our toes in case there's any kind of surprise. Um, also, India, RBI, is out today. I think they're going to cut rates in India. For those of you who screw around uh, with the rupee, keep an eye out for that. Also, the RBA publishes uh, the statement on monetary policy tonight. That's um, in the twilight hours, around 3.30 a.m. Swiss time, so we won't be up for that. But that that could be interesting, and it could, could move Aussie a bit and Aussie yen. This is the Aussie end chart that we have up here. This line now is becoming a little bit more interesting. Um, we're going to need risk off for this to come into play. I don't know if we're going to get risk off anytime ever again, but just watching it, right? We had a, we had that huge expert yesterday at 76 the figure, traded up to 40. Now this line's sneaking up, right? It's not close. Uh, it's still a percent away, but just want to keep your eye on it. Euro. Interesting little uh, little blip up there to 05 yesterday. This sort of looks like it's going to break higher today. 09 was the first high um, on 31 July. 05 yesterday. We're at the highs now. Very, very muted range in Asia basically 6085 so we're not super excited about any of this but watching this there might be some money to made to be made uh, as we're making new highs just more on a tactical trade sort of hit and run type stuff um, for euro cable obviously um, Bank of England today no one's really expecting any policy changes. Uh, they're looking for unanimous votes to leave the rate and uh, the amount of QE or the purchase target. All of this should be left the same, but you got to be on your toes anyway and watch. It's the same chart as uh, Euro. Last night we printed the 62 high, uh, 31st we had 71 so just like euro printed 05 versus the 09 this printed 62 versus the 71 both of these look like they want higher um, but again it's just sort of a tactical trade I don't think this is gonna start screaming um, screaming higher dollar Swiss um, way 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 down there yesterday 90 50 people people here in Switzerland like to sort of play this 90 90 area as a range base uh, so I do expect to see some some demand from the locals here um, but in general I don't really see how dollar Swiss can go higher uh, if we do turn risk off dollar Swiss will go lower um, and if we continue with this dollar sell-off, dollar Swiss will continue to go lower. So um, no dog in this fight, but just mentioning the fact that there should be some odd bids uh, around that 90 handle. But once we clear through those, there'll be lots of stops, 88.50, 88.10, longer term stuff. Um, that's probably going to get done on like a really awkward move to, to 80. 85, 84 cents. Anyway, it's dollar Swiss. Uh, dollar yen, stubborn. Not really doing a lot. Uh, traded down to, I don't know, what did we get down to? 34 yesterday. Now it's kind of pivoty down there at 30. No juice, dollar yen. 
no uh, no real juice volatility has been really reduced and to be fair it seems to be going up better than it's going down and that has a lot to do with cross yen which was bid as you can see this is the dailies euro yen has had this little 600 point jag here since June and still looks like she wants more um, insatiable sterling yen also less so than than euro yen but we're coming up to these highs here 139.75 that's a very important high before we get to the first real resistances which is up at 141 sterling yen could could move a little bit just from a chart perspective play a little catch up with euro yen dollars are um, this is the horse we like to ride uh, gotta be long dollars are interesting uh, triple top up here at 53 you just want to try and own um, or put on structures while we're down here between say 50 and the figure we do think um, this is going to blow up quite badly we saw turkey the beginnings of the turkey blow up yesterday as we as we plowed through seven dollar turkeys now at 705 um, the hapless CBRT is just Running out of running out of juice, running out of running out of bullets. You can't just put rates to a thousand percent randomly every night and hope that the speculators um, go away. It just doesn't work. Um, they're surely running out of dollars to sell. Uh, so dollar turkey and dollars are are looking. Um, pretty fragile uh, and then you throw in COVID and then you throw in um, just the outsize foreign the need for foreign money and if you're a foreigner are you going to be rushing to invest into South Africa right now are you going to be rushing to invest into Turkey right now I would argue um, you are not Right now, if you're a foreigner, you're crouching in the corner, grabbing your balls, um, praying that uh, this COVID thing ends and the political malarkey ends and whatever. This is not, you're not taking test your testosterone shots um, the way you used to. So, I don't know. These countries are going to suffer in, uh, as far as my small mind has uh, conjured up a story. Aussie, it's bid, tried to turn yesterday, we kind of made like a false dawn there above the 29 highs, but it's still bid, this is the same line as the Aussie yen line, um, I would argue this is where the, the, the money is going to be made when this turns, um, Aussie yen, Aussie kiwi, but we need risk off for that and we do not have risk off. 33.20 is, is equities. Dollar CAD, as we talked about yesterday, is just a sell on rally. This has further to go, although crude dropped 2% at the end of the day yesterday, up from the 43.50 highs. Um, dollar CAD's still offered. Equities. No left-hand side action at all yesterday. None. Uh, just every time it goes left, came right back up. Terrible ADP. 10 given, 20 paid. But effectively, it's not really doing anything here. We did sneak up to 33.29 and a quarter. There are people named Private TRFX who are waiting up here between say 33 and 43 to uh, jump on the short boat but we're just being patient now Let's see how it goes um, this is trying to decide I don't know what's going to drive it is it going to be non-farms I don't know non-farms doesn't really mean much anymore I guess we're just waiting for this stimulus package uh, to come through uh, how big it's going to be and and so we're waiting, waiting in S&Ps. 
Um, you got to start throwing up these this 10-year chart. Red day yesterday after getting very, very close to um, all-time low yields. This is going to turn, and it might turn sooner rather than later. I don't know. I'm not uh, no wizard with uh, fixed income. Uh, but uh, as a strategic trade, being short this looks okay. I don't even know if technical analysis works with this shit. Gives you a sense of the volatility, I guess, and, and gives you a sense of trend, I, I suppose. But we're watching closely this, this space, uh, also BTPs, wherever the hell they are. BTPs are yielding right around 1%, um, getting ready to sell BTPs. Here we go. Oddly similar chart from yesterday. Printed that Zippo 147.96. I don't know. I mean, I do know. I really want to get short fixed income. Um, how to do it and where to do it is uh, is interesting. And it won't be, you know, the the. The move lower in fixed income is not going to be um, risk or fear, as in flight to safety. It's going to be people are going to start questioning the balance sheets of the countries that issue these this debt, including the United States of America. Everyone always questions Italy, of course, um, and that is going to cause the move uh, if 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 we're correct. Here's Bitcoin. Barstool uh, boneheads are like buy all the Bitcoins. Uh, Bitcoin pops up. Uh, we like Bitcoin higher as well, just like those boneheads. I guess these boneheads we like it higher as well. Um, dollar cost averaging. Technical analysis is not very useful in, in Bitcoin. Um, just buy some Bitcoin. Keep it light. You know, this is if you're a if you're a currency person, this is your Tesla. Um, so just own some Bitcoin. All right. I'm talking too much now. 12 minutes. There's not a lot going on today. Patience is the uh, key metric. I'm trying to find ways to uh, help averages for long dollars are. Um, watching 1753 in case something happens with equities. And then we're watching these sort of trend lines in Aussie and Aussie yen. But it's going to be pretty quiet in Europe, um, Bank of England later. With that, I bid you adieu. Have a good trading day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.